Hello, I'm Chris of Chrissy's Over the Mountain Crochet and Crafts, and we'll be working today on the Overbrook Baby Dress. I'll be using rain, Baby Rainbow yarn from Michaels. It's a number four, but it really works up as a three weight. I have done a yarn swatch on Line Brand Kubu, which is a three, and Bernat Baby Softy, which is a three, and they work up exactly the same. So you'll need either a three weight DK or a light four, very light four, that will achieve gauge. And the gauge swatch is chain 27, double crochet in the third chain from the hook and double crochet in each stitch across till you get to the end, chain three and turn and continue in the pattern. And the gauge is four inches across is 16 stitches and four inches high is eight rows and it's important to achieve gauge on this little dress all right let's get started i'll be using a susan bates g 4.0 millimeter hook baby rainbow by loops and threads loops and threads you get it at michael it's called baby rainbow it's a nice little yarn it has a little bit of fuzz to it but it does kind of split i tried using a boy crochet hook and it just was too splitty. So let's get started. With a newborn, we chain 54 and join in a ring, being careful not to twist. So let's make a slip knot and chain 54. Very easy, chain 54. I'll go off camera and finish the 54 chains and come back and show you how to join in a ring. I have executed 54 chains. Now I need to join in a ring. So I hold on to the loop that is on the hook and I work the chain, keeping the top two loops visible. If it starts to twist like it is here, then I straighten it out and I make it flat. Now when I get to the last, I've I still have this hand in working position. When I get to the last chain, I turn it toward my working hand or the hook. Then I insert my hook in this chain. This is my working yarn. I grab my tail and I grab hold of it. And I have both loops on the hook. Then I yarn over and join with a slip stitch. There we go, that's... There we go, we executed a join in the first chain. Now chain one and single crochet in that joining stitch. Chain three, this is round one. Chain three, skip two chains, one, two, single crochet. Now we skip two chains, one, two, and execute a shell in this stitch or this chain. The, a shell is five double crochets in the same stitch. Now, skip two chains, one, two, and single crochet, right in that chain. Chain three, skip two chains, one, two, and single crochet. Skip two chains, one, two, and shell in that third chain. And remember the shell is five double crochets. Now we repeat the sequence of shell, skip two stitches, single crochet, chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet, skip two stitches, and a shell. We execute that all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end of the round and show you how to begin round two. I am at the end of round one. 
I just made my last single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Now I need to skip two chains and execute the shell. One, two, the shell has five double crochets. This is the Overbrook neckline. I have used this in a lot of my designs. I've used it in the Overbrook cotton tee, the puzzle shell poncho, Or the puzzle, I have used it in the puzzle poncho. This yarn does split a little. It was a lot worse when I used a boy hook. Now we have two stitches, two chains left, but we're going to join with a slip stitch, bypassing the chain one right here, and slip stitch in the top of that single crochet. And there we have. The opening this should fit nicely over a baby's head this stitch sequence is a multiple of nine stitches all right so let's begin round two round two is we need to slip stitch into that chain three space chain one and single crochet under that chain three space now we need to execute a shell with ears. We're going to skip these stitches. <clears throat> and the shell with ears is a double crochet in the first double crochet, a double crochet in the second double crochet of that shell, a chain three, single crochet in the peak stitch or the third double crochet of the shell, chain three and double crochet in these last two. So let's do that. So double crochet, double crochet, chain three, single crochet in that peak stitch, chain three, double crochet in these last two double crochets. And I call this a shell with ears. It's my own name because this looks like a shell that has two ears. So this is the shell with ears. Now we single crochet in the chain three space. Execute a shell with ears, single crochet in this chain three space, shell with ears, single crochet in the chain three space. Do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, now we are at the end of round two. We need to join with a slip stitch to the beginning, single crochet. Now round three begins now. Round three is chain three. This counts as a double crochet. And we need to double crochet in each double crochet and two double crochets in the chain three spaces. A double crochet in the single crochet and two double crochets in the chain three spaces. A double crochet in the next two double crochets. A double crochet in the single crochet. Double crochet in the double crochet. So it's a double crochet in each stitch around, and when you get to a chain three space, it's two double crochets. Execute that all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end all of the round. The double crochet, I have executed double crochet stitches in each chain three space, and in each stitch around, each chain three space, remember, has two double crochets. When you finish, you should have 60 double crochets counting the chain three. So I have executed my last double crochet and I need to join with a slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning, chain three. There we go. Now we are on to round four. Round four is chain three, double crochet in the next four stitches
that's one. Two, three, four. Now, two double crochets in the next stitch. So we need an increase. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. This chain three counts as a double crochet and then an increase. Now the repeat is double crochet in the next five stitches. I've just executed five. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase. And an increase is two stitches, two double crochet stitches in one stitch. That is the repeat. You execute that nine times around, and you should be at the beginning. When you execute that nine times around, you should land right here with two double crochets in this last stitch, and then we'll join to the third chain of the beginning, chain three. Let me execute that on all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I have executed these last two double crochets, and the sequence again was a double crochet in five stitches, then two double crochets and increase. Now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top or the third chain of that beginning, chain three. Now, chain three and double crochet in the next five stitches. So we chain three and then double crocheted in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's an increase. Two double crochets in the next stitch. So the sequence is double crochet in six stitches, then two double crochets in the next. So I would double crochet one, two, three, four, five, six times one and then in this stitch and you can see this is the point of the increase two double crochets in that next stitch so the sequence is or the repeat is double crochet in the next six stitches two double crochets in the next we we'll execute that all the way around we will end up with 80 double crochets round four had 70 double crochets this next round when we are finished we'll have 80 and I'll meet you at the join right here. At the end of round five, I'm ready to join with a slip stitch to the top, to the third chain of that beginning chain three, which counts as a double crochet, but I need to loosely join with a slip stitch. So I'm going to elongate that loop just a little bit. And I'm going to pull my loop up. Now I need to slip stitch in each stitch around. At the end of round five, we have 80 double crochets, but now I need to loosely slip stitch in each stitch around. And you loosely slip stitch by pulling up that loop just a little bit. You don't want this to be tight. You want it to be loose. These loops, I want these two loops to be exposed and be sitting loosely on top of your work. You can't go wrong. Of course you don't want it super loose, but you don't want this super tight. So I will execute that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. I am at the end of round six. We have 80 slip stitches. You can see these are the stitches of the previous row and these are the slip stitches. They're floating on top. Now I finished my last slip stitch. Now I need to slip stitch to the stitch behind right here. Notice all the two loops. These are the tops of the double crochets. Each double crochet we execute will be behind 
these surface slip stitches. So I need to join with a slip stitch to that double crochet behind. Chain three, which counts as a stitch, and double crochet in the next 24 stitches. Now this is a tech this is an easy technique. It looks like it's going to be really fiddly, but it isn't. Now if I can get through that without my yarn splitting, there's one double crochet. Go behind the slip stitch into those two loops and execute a double crochet. Let me see if I can show you that again. In those two loops behind. I have a video that explains this. I will link it in the notes. But we execute 24 double crochets. Then we will execute an underarm chain. Let me get those 24 double crochets finished and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have executed 24 double crochets around. You can see this surface slip stitch. With this chain three, I have 25 double crochets. Now I am going to chain eight. And I am going to skip 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I'm going to double crochet in that 16th stitch. And there you can see we have a little armhole or arm's eye started. So we will double crochet in the next 24, making a total of 25 across the back, make another armhole chain of eight, and I'll show you what happens after I've made the 24 stitches and the armhole chain. I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I executed 25 across the back. Now I need to chain eight. And join with a slip stitch, skitch, skipping these 15 stitches, join with a slip stitch to the third chain of that beginning chain three. There we go. I'm gonna pull that loop up so we can take a look at what we have done. We have, we have two underarm areas. We have an armhole made. Now let's start working and the bodice of the dress. And so the next round, which is round eight, we will chain three and we will double crochet in each of these double crochets across. Until we get to the underarm chain. Now we are at the underarm chain. So the first chain, we want to execute two double crochets in the first chain, and there we go. Now execute one double crochet in the next two chains. Now execute two double crochets in this chain and place a marker right here. After we get these two double crochets made, let's just place a marker right there. This is the center of the underarm. Now execute a double crochet in the next three chains. and two double crochets in this last chain. Now execute double crochets all the way across, then 
the same thing happens is two double crochets in this chain and this chain two double crochets one double crochet in the next two chains right there two chains then this chain is two double crochets and place a marker then a double crochet in the next three then two double crochets in the last chain let me get that done Now I'm at the underarm chain, so two double crochets in this first chain. A double crochet in the next two chains, one in each of the next two. And then two double crochets in the next chain. This is the center of the underarm. Then place the marker. That will be a point of increase at each round. Now a double crochet in the next three chains and two double crochets in that last chain. Now here I am, I'm executing two double crochets in this last chain. Now, do not join with a slip stitch, but double crochet, we're going to execute our next few rounds in the round. There will not be a join until we get to the lace hem. So just go ahead and execute a double crochet in that third chain. but place a marker in that stitch. That will help you keep track of the rounds. So you're going to execute rounds nine through 17. Nine through 17 is, nine through 17 is a double crochet in each stitch around until you hit this marker the center marker at the underarm, then you execute two double crochets in this marker. Continue on around, executing double crochets. With two double crochets at this marker. Execute double crochets until you get back to this marker, and then you execute a double crochet here, and then you move your marker. This will help you keep track, you either this will help you keep track of the rounds. You need to execute 17 rounds. Now you can move this marker and realize this is round eight, and then round count, round nine, 10, 11, until you hit the marker, or you can leave this marker here and then add a marker to each round. Some folks do that to help them keep track, but you need to execute this all the way around. Let me execute one round for you. We're coming up to the marked stitch, very simple. Execute double crochets in each stitch, then you get to this marked stitch and you execute two. Let me take that marker out of there. I'm getting ready to, just so I can crochet those two double crochets. Now put my marker back. Every time I come to this marker, I'm going to execute two double crochets and every time you come to this underarm area you will need to execute two double crochets so just move that marker out of the way and then continue to double crochet let me get around to the next underarm increase area Okay, so I am getting close. I'm just about at the increase under the arm. Now 
Now I'm going to move the marker out of the way so I can make the two stitches. marker back double crochet in the next few that are left and then double crochet in this marked stitch remember we are not joining and I will place a marker there. Let's take a look at this. So we have the beginnings of a dress. We have the two arms eyes that are made, armholes, and we increase, remember, we increase underneath the arm on each side and we do not join. So we would continue around until we hit round 18. I'll meet you at the end of so round now we seven. have what looks like a little dress. It's just missing the lace hem and the lace collar. If you remember, we crocheted in the round, placing a marker in the beginning stitch of each round so that we can keep track of our round numbers. This is round nine, and we continue to crochet until we get to round 18. This is the marked stitch where we executed two double crochets in each underarm area. When we get to the end of round 18, we have to execute a sequence of stitches that will bring this down to a slip stitch when we get to the marked stitch. Let me show you how that's done. So to bring down the stitches to the level of a slip stitch, two stitches before the marked stitch, we need to execute a half double crochet and then a single crochet. Now this would be the beginning of round 20. Now let me stop here. We should have 90 stitches. You need a multiple of nine stitches to make the hem. Now if you have 90 plus one, or you have 89 stitches, or 88 even, you can fudge just a little bit, um, but you need as close to a multiple of nine stitches as you can get. All right, so let's remove this marker. Now we need to slip stitch. This is the first stitch. And we're going to build up to a single crochet. So we chained one and single crochet. Let me do that again. So we need to build up to the height of a single crochet so that we can single crochet in each stitch around and join. The next few rounds are joining rounds. There will be a beginning and a join at the end of each round. So chain one and single crochet. This is the first stitch in round 19. And then we just single crochet in each stitch around and when I get back to the beginning put a marker right here so I don't lose this stitch and when we get back to the beginning we bypass that chain one and join with a slip stitch in that single crochet let me single crochet all the way around and then we will get started on the lace hem okay so I'm at the end of round 20 I've executed a single crochet all the way around. My last stitch was in that single crochet. This is the beginning stitch, so I will remove that marker and join with a slip stitch, bypassing the slip stitch and chain one that were previous, and join with a slip stitch in the top of that single crochet. Now this begins the lace round. We executed a bit, uh, we executed this when we made the first round of the neckline and it's very simple. S chain one, single crochet in this joining stitch, chain three, skip two stitches and single crochet. Skip two stitches 
and a shell in that third stitch. You have a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, skip two and a shell. Now skip two, one, two, and single crochet in that third, chain three, one, two, skip two, and single crochet. And you guessed it, skip two, one, two, shell, skip two, one, two, single crochet, S chain three, skip two, one, two, single crochet. So that's how the repeat is executed all the way around, and I will meet you at the end of we this round. At the end of the first lace round on the hem, we have the beginning is right here, the last stitch is a shell, and we have two stitches right here. Now if you are short a stitch, you can just have one stitch there, and if you're short two stitches, you can fudge somewhere else along in the hemline and skip one stitch. And same with if you have too, too many stitches. This is really a very forgiving pattern and a very forgiving lace stitch, but we are at the end. We have two left. We had 90 stitches in that round of single crochets. So to get it to work out exact, so that there are two stitches left, you have 90 stitches. So let's join to the top of this single crochet with a slip stitch. Now the next stitch we need to make to begin the second round of the hem is slip stitch into that chain three space, chain one to build up, and single crochet. Now we need to execute a shell with ears, and you remember that as previous, it's a double crochet double crochet of the shell and a double crochet in the second double crochet of the shell. Chain three, single crochet in this peak stitch, chain three, and double crochet in the last two stitches. and you have a shell with ears. Now single crochet in this chain three space and a shell with ears, single crochet, shell with ears. We execute that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. We are at the end of the second round of the hem. Here is my last shell with ears. There's the beginning shell with ears, but right here is that beginning single crochet so I join with a slip stitch to this beginning single crochet. Now this next round is a repeat of round one, but there is a chain one before and after each shell. Now I need to make a beginning shell. The first shell will be here. By the way, let me say there are 10 shells and 10 shells with ears in round one and two. So. Let's start that beginning shell. So a beginning shell is chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and four double crochets in this joining stitch. So that's a beginning shell. Now, single crochet in this chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the second, chain three space. There's a shell. Oh, I left out the chain one. Hold on. Let me get that in there because this hem will start to curl inside if I don't give it some ease with that chain one. There's a single crochet and a chain one. So we have a shell, chain one, single crochet, chain three, single cr crochet, chain one, and then a shell in the next single crochet stitch. and chain one. All right, so this is the repeat. Chain one, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain one, shell in 
the previous single crochet. Let's execute that all the way around and I'll meet you when I get back to this point. End of the third round of lace on the hem. So I've executed my last chain one right after, whoops, right after this single crochet chain three single crochet sequence. I need to join with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three. So in the third chain of that beginning chain three, which is a double crochet, join with a slip stitch. Now I need to make a beginning shells with ears and a beginning shells with ears is very easy. Chain three, which counts as a double crochet, double crochet in the next double crochet of that shell. That's a little bit tight there. Let me get my needle in, my hook in there. There we go. Double crochet, chain three, double crochet, excuse me, single crochet in that third double crochet, chain three, and double crochet, in the next double crochet, double crochet, in the next double crochet, now, chain one, those chain ones are very important to add ease and to add some flair to the hem of the skirt. Chain one, single crochet in that chain three space. Chain one, and a beginning shells with ears. So you're skipping all of this, beginning shells with ears in the next shell. Did I say beginning shells with ears? I meant shells, shell with ears. I did not mean beginning. Chain one, single crochet in that chain three space. We'll have a little split. Chain one and, be, and shell with ears in the next shell. Execute this sequence all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end of this round, right here at this beginning shell. We are at the end of round four of the hem. I've just finished my last chain one after the single crochet, and I will join in that third chain of the beginning, chain three. Now we're starting round five. Round five is, the, is a repeat of round two, but there are two chains in between each shell and a chain four instead of a chain three. Let me get you to that point, but first we have to walk our yarn or slip stitch across into this chain three space. So let's put our hook into that double crochet and slip stitch. Remember, we're just walking our yarn now slip stitch into the chain three space, chain one to build up to a single crochet height, and then single crochet. Now chain four, single crochet in the next chain three space. There we go. We have a chain four. Now we need to chain two and shell. chain two, single crochet in this chain three space, chain four, single crochet in the chain three space, chain two, and shell in that single crochet. Now you can see it's starting to give a little bit more flair to the hem with these extra chains that are in there. I will meet you at the end of this round. We are at the end of round five. We've been executing chain fours right here and a chain two before and after each shell. So I've executed my last chain two. I'm going to join to this beginning single crochet. Now we're on to round six and round six is slip stitch into the chain three space, chain one, 
single crochet, chain two, and a shell with ears. Chain two, and single crochet in the chain three, chain four space, chain two, and a shell with ears. So all the way around, it is a chain two before and after each shell with ears, and then a single crochet in the chain four space. This will be the last round on this lovely hem. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, of the so round. we're at the end of round six on the hem. This is the last stitch of this hem. I've executed chain twos before and after each shell with ears. Now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the beginning single crochet, end off, and then pull. And doesn't this hem look beautiful? The hem on this little dress is just so nice, so pretty. This is the newborn size. Now let's move on to the collar. The collar is fun. The collar is very easy. So now we're moving on to the collar. We start the collar by placing single crochet stitches in the bottom loop of these surface single crochets with a chain three in between each single crochet. Okay, so we join in the bottom loop of these top two loops. We will join in the bottom loop by slipping our hook underneath that bottom loop, just like that. So let's get started with that. So we make a slip knot, and how this is how you join with a single crochet. So insert, you have the slip knot on your hook, insert under that bottom loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, you have two on the hook, yarn over, and execute a single crochet. Now chain three, one, two, three, skip one stitch, and go in under that bottom loop of the next stitch and single crochet. Let's look at that. All right, so you have a join with a single crochet, chain three and single crochet in the bottom loop. Let's do one more. Let's chain three. Skip this stitch and single crochet under the bottom loop of the next surface slip stitch. Let's do one more. One, two, three. Skip a stitch and single crochet under this stitch. Chain three. Skip a stitch, single crochet under that bottom loop chain three, and now we are at the cap sleeve area, and just as before, single crochet in the bottom loop. Those, those stitches are very visible across the cap of the sleeve. So we do that all the way around, and we will have 39 loops when we are at the end of this round. I'll join with a slip stitch right here, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. All right, I've made my last chain three. I'm ready to join with a slip stitch in the top of this single crochet. Now remember, you need 39 loops. You need a multiple of three loops. Okay, so let's move on to the first round of the lace portion of the collar. The first round was the chain three loops, but the first round of the lace is round two and you slip stitch into the chain three space chain one and single crochet. Chain three and single crochet in the next chain three space, just like that. And you guessed it, a shell in the next chain three space. And a shell is five double crochets. slip stitch in this next chain three space, single crochet, excuse me, that's a single crochet, chain three, 
and single crochet in the next chain three space and a shell single crochet chain three and single crochet execute that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end okay. of the round. so I'm at the end of the first round of the lace portion of the collar which is round two actually so I just finished round two but I need to join with a slip stitch to this beginning single crochet and you know how this goes slip stitch into that chain three space chain one single cro single crochet in this chain three space and a shell with ears in this shell and a single crochet in the next chain three space. Execute that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end all of right, round I'm three. at the end of round three of the lace portion of the collar. So I've executed my last shell with ears. I need to join with a slip stitch to this beginning single crochet. Now to start round four, I need to make a beginning shell so that's chain three and four double crochets in the joining stitch. And that joining stitch is a single crochet. All shells are placed in a single crochet. Now I need to execute a chain one before and after each shell. So I've executed a chain one. Now I'm single crocheting in the chain three, chain three, single crochet, chain one, and shell. So you know what a shell looks like. Then it's a chain one, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. So execute that all the way around. A chain one before each shell and after each shell and a single crochet in each chain three space and a chain three between each single crochet. Execute that all the way around and I'll meet you. I'm at the end of round four of the collar and I have executed my last single crochet. I need to chain one and slip stitch in the third chain of that beginning chain three. Now I need to execute a beginning shell with ears, and that is a chain three, double crochet in the next double crochet, and that one's usually tight. It takes a second to get through there. There we go. Double crochet, chain three, single crochet in the center stitch, chain three, double crochet, and double crochet and a chain one. So there will be a chain one before and after each shell with ears. So the next stitch is single crochet in the chain three, chain one, and a shell with ears, which is double crochet, double crochet, chain three, single crochet, and you know how the shell with ears works. So after and before each shell with ears, there's a chain one and then a single crochet in each chain three space. So execute that all the way around. A shell with ears, chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell with ears, chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell with ears. All the way around and I'll meet okay, you. So we are at the end of, the, of round five I need to execute one more chain one and slip stitch in the third chain of that beginning chain three. All right. Have to work it a little bit. This yarn likes to split a good bit. There we go. I finally got it in there. All right. Join with a slip stitch. Cut with scissors, leaving a generous tail. End off and you have finished your little, let me get that little fuzzy out of there. And you have finished 
this cute, adorable little dress with a collar. It's so cute. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you'll come to my side of the mountain more often. For more tutorials, there will be a pair of shoes that match this. There will be a set of bloomers with real elastic in the waist and a hat with this little lace trim. And make sure you uh, like and subscribe. I'd love to see you on my side of the mountain more often. Bye.